Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Sherry and I would like to welcome you to Science Time as well as give you an overview of what you can expect from this lesson. In volcanoes, you will learn the classification of volcanoes according to the record of eruption and shape of volcanic cone. Additionally, you will be given the opportunity to describe and define volcano. So are you ready? Yes! Come on! Let's start our learning adventure today! Before we start, I would like to know if you feel comfortable on what you learned from the previous lesson. If yes, you can show your thumbs up and thumbs down if no. Yes! You are now ready to move on to the next lesson. Can you identify the different landforms? I will show you some pictures and I want you to identify the landforms. The given words are jumbled up on the left-hand side and a picture clue is given to help you rearrange it into a proper word. Five seconds frame is given to answer every picture. So, are you ready? Let's begin! Correct! Valley! The second picture. Yes! Plateau! The third picture. Heels! Good job! The fourth picture shows A mountain. That is correct. And the last picture is a volcano. Correct. Good job. Can you describe a volcano? Before you answer the question, let us have an activity. Are you ready? Based on the picture, give five descriptions of a volcano. Present your answer in a concept map. The shape of the volcano is a cone shape. Correct. Volcano has Yes, a crater. Also, it has opening on top. Great! Volcano emits Correct! Hot rocks. And last, Volcano gives off hot gases. That is correct. Great job! Again, what is a volcano? There are approximately 1,500 active volcanoes worldwide. Moss are located around the Pacific Ocean in what is commonly called the Ring of Fire. A volcano is defined as an opening in the Earth's crust through which lava, ash, and gases erupt. 
The term also includes the cone-shaped landform filled by repeated eruptions over time. Do you have an idea how they are classified? We can classify volcanoes according to the record of eruption. It can be active or inactive. How will you classify the volcanoes that have records of eruptions? And how about volcanoes with no record of eruption? Alright! An active volcano is a volcano that had at least one eruption during the past 10,000 years. It might be erupting or dormant. An erupting volcano is an active volcano that is having an eruption. A dormant volcano is an active volcano that is not erupting but supposed to erupt again. An extinct volcano has not had an eruption for at least 10,000 years and it's not expected to erupt again in a comparable time scale of the future. Put simply, the most popular way for classifying volcanoes comes down to the frequency of their eruption. Those that erupt regularly are called active while well, those that have erupted in historical times but are now quiet are called inactive. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology said there are a total of 22 active volcanoes in the Philippines, while the larger percentage remain dormant as of the record. How many volcanoes are there in the world? During the past 10,000 years, there are about 1,500 volcanoes on land that are known to have been active, while the even larger number of submarine volcanoes is unknown. At present, there are about 600 volcanoes that have known eruption during recorded history, while about 50 to 70 volcanoes are active each year. At any given time, there is an average of about 20 volcanoes that are erupting. What are the types of volcanoes? Volcanoes come in different shapes and sizes. Volcanologists classify them according to their landforms and eruptive patterns. We can consider the three volcanic types according to the shape of their cones namely shield volcanoes, cinder cones or spatter cones, composite volcanoes, also called stratovolcanoes. Shield volcanoes are large volcanoes that are built almost entirely of fluid lava flows and have broad sloping sides and are generally surrounded by gently sloping hills in a circular or fan-shaped pattern that looks like a warrior shield. Cinder cones are the simplest type of volcano. They are built from particles and blobs of lava ejected from a single vent. As the gas-charged lava is blown violently into the air, it breaks into small fragments that solidify and fall as cinders around the vent to form a circular or oval cone. Most cedar cones have a bowl-shaped crater at the summit and rarely rise more than a thousand feet or so above their surroundings. Composite volcanoes, also called stratovolcanoes, are named from their composition. These volcanoes are built from layers or strata of pyroclastic material, including lava, pumice, volcanic ash, and tephra. The layers of stack on each other with each eruption. The volcanoes form steep cones rather than rounded shapes because the magma is viscous. 
composite volcano tends to occur in chains, with each volcano several kilometers from the next. The Ring of Fire in the Pacific Ocean consists of stratovolcanoes. Famous example of composite volcanoes including Mount Fuji in Japan, Mount Rainier, and Mount St. Helens in Washington State, and Mayon Volcano in the Philippines. Now, do you understand the active and inactive volcanoes? How about the difference between shield volcano, cinder cone volcano, and composite volcano? If you do, you are such an amazing student. Okay, at this time, let us have a recap. Volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust through which lava, volcanic ash, and gases escape. Volcanoes are classified according to A. Record of eruption, the active and inactive volcano. B. Shape of volcanic cone. These are the shield volcano, cinder cone volcano, and composite or stratovolcano. Remember, volcanoes have done wonderful things for the earth. They help pull off the earth. Volcanic emission have produced atmosphere and the water of the oceans. Volcanoes make islands and add to the continents. Provide new habitats to species. Create economic mineral deposits. Create beautiful landscapes. And it generates tourism. Now, let us assess what you have learned from today's lesson. Are you ready? Great! Read the questions carefully and write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Let's begin! Number 1 Volcanoes that are made of fluid lava flows are called black. A. Shield volcano B. Cinder cone volcano C. Composite volcano D. Strata volcano Let us now check your answer. The answer is A. Correct! Number two. Number two. About 75% of the world's volcanoes are found A. Around the Atlantic Ocean Basin B. Around the Pacific Ocean Basin C. Around the Mid-Atlantic Range D. Throughout the American Northwest let us check your answer. The answer is B. Correct! Number 3. A volcano that is erupting or has shown signs that it may erupt in the future is called blank. A. Sleeping B. Active C. Extinct D. Dormant Let us check your answer. The answer is B. Awesome! Number 4. What kind of volcano is made of alternating layers of lava and tephra? It is also called stratovolcano. A. Shield volcano. B. Cinder cone volcano. C. Composite volcano. D. Spatter cones. Let us check your answer. The answer is C. 
great. Number five. What volcano that have very steep sides and usually have a small crater on top? A. Shield volcano. B. Cinder cone volcano. C. Composite volcano. D. Stratovolcano. Let us check your answer. The answer is B. Good job! Were you be able to answer all the questions? Congratulations! You did a great job! I hope you enjoy our today's lesson. Always remember, science is awesome! Once again, I am your science teacher, Teacher Shelly. Goodbye! Thank you.